Right, Kim Nielsen off the inside in the red helmet colour on a change of equipment here. Benjamin Basso out, gate number two in blue, first ride of the evening. Andre Lebedev, who did get two points last time out, comes out of gate number three in white. And Martin Vasilik on a change of equipment going from the outside. Rasmus Jensen was disqualified, although he didn't uh, score a point as a consequence of both wheels over the white line in the previous race. But... Um, Hasn't hurt him too much. It hasn't been the night that uh, Rasmus Jensen was looking for. Here we go, heat number 10, the tapes are up. Away we go, and young Benjamin Basso out of heat number two, fires himself to the front. Kim Nilsson right alongside him. Oh my goodness, it's tight there with Andre Lebedev's coming through into third place, and Martin Vasilik having a tough evening. is out the back. Kim Nilsson hugging that inside line. But look at young Benjamin Basso. He's gone wide there, leaves himself vulnerable. Can he get enough grip? Yes, he can. What an effort here from Benjamin Basso. Yeah, Benjamin riding really well, just stretching it out there in the dirty stick to it and Kim Nilsson working the inside really nicely oh that's gonna get awfully close Basso read that one absolutely perfectly got about across uh, Kim Nilsson there disaster again for Martin Vashelik although he's now finding a little bit of speed on the outside but Lebedev's up the inside no Vashelik oh he's had to get off the throw tell you what here comes Martin Vashelik rally outside scored from last to first what an effort from him had to go for it oh my goodness gracious me massive crash yeah that was a oh Andre Lebedev just slamming into the side of Basso who had done so remarkably well Race is completed. Yeah, the red lights. straight over to uh, Basso to check on. Oh, all. that was drama once again here with Lebedev just coming in so hot into turn three on the final time. What a miraculous ride for Martin Vasilik. He looked absolutely gone at the back and had roared around the outside of the complete field and had got himself to the front. Not sure if the red light came on before the completion of the race or not, but uh, every so. chance that the race will be completed there. But for Martin Vasilik, up against it there, having to dig awfully deep and came through. But our concern now is for young Benjamin Basso, who took a really a mighty wallop there from Andre Lebedev's. Yeah, went down heavy on his back. Tough one. He, wasn't, uh, he wouldn't have been aware of what was coming at him as well. But uh, Lebedev's was straight over to him. He realised it was his error. Well... Difficult to know what to say about these incidents. It's uh, very tough indeed. Track is slick. Riders are running into each other. Seems to be uh, judgment calls, but for Martin Vasilik there, in deep conversation with uh, Bjarni Pedersen, can't get off the start tonight, but had to work extraordinarily hard to get himself to the front. And uh, once again, the uh, ambulance is on track, so we're going to have another delay here as a consequence of an injury to Benjamin Basso. Let's hope he's OK. Our thoughts already with uh, Jason Doyle, who was taken away to hospital a little earlier. But another very heavy fall and a slammed into the track. When you go over the high side, the uh, right-hand footrest on a speedway bike is low to the ground and wide. It digs in the surface and stops the bike and pivots you over the wrong way. And this was a classic moment of that. Yeah, we can see uh, Martin Vasilik. He's wound it all up on the outside. Done fantastically well there. Lebedev's charges up the inside of Kim Nielsen. Can't stop the bike. It's uh, another judgmental error, really. He actually takes Kim Nielsen's leg as he charges in. Yeah, he he's, he's almost two sort of, riders out there. He's almost out of control. He's, he's come in. I mean, there's certainly no malice intended there whatsoever. But uh, roared in very tight. Can't stop. You can see all he wants to do is stop the bike. Can't do it. Uh, Basso can. looks like he's gone down on the collarbone there. He's up. He's walked off the track. So no play. Um, uh, that is uh, good news indeed. And the ambulance is not required this time. So good news in that regard.